You know, I think if you're driving a car and you have an accident, the state legislature and all the rest of us believe you have a duty to stop. That clearly is something Ms. Sensor did not do. And you have a duty to report that accident, at least to tell the police an accident occurred and where it occurred, and to do it by the, the most immediate methods of communication possible. For most of this, it's our cell phone. And obviously the facts in this case clearly showed there was no report that night, there was no report the next morning. You know, the car was turned in by her attorneys 24 hours later, and she didn't confess to be having drive, driving that car for 10 days. I think what it says is that's too long, and I think the message is report your accidents and stop at the scene. Well, if you claim you don't know you were in an accident that night, um, you certainly, the next morning, the testimony clearly showed she was aware there was an accident. Her Mercedes-Benz SUV had $7,500 of damage. Um, her husband said, look at this on the website. Somebody was killed here. It was this you? I think it caused um, enough concern that they hired a lawyer, put their car in the garage, gave him the keys, dropped off a check to the lawyer, and went to Stillwater to get out of Dodge. Um, and the lawyer finally, after 24 hours, turned the car over. I think in most cases that the ground in front of the door to the Minnesota criminal justice system is level. And for obvious reasons, that has been a concern for my clients from day one. All that they've wanted in this criminal proceeding was for justice to be served. And they're thankful that that was accomplished in the, the jury verdict. Thankful for the jurors that they found justice and did the right thing. It's been a long you? journey and we're just glad that it's over. Yeah. What were your thoughts sitting in there for the last week and a half? I mean, not, what, what was that experience like? It was hard. Hard. It's hard. Mom and Dad. And I don't fault the jurors, I don't fault the system, uh, I don't think that this is a miscarriage of justice by any stretch of the imagination. It is, a, it is a decision that they made. Obviously we will appeal certain decisions that I think the court made. Ms. Sensor got a fair trial, she got a fair, uh, a fair opportunity to be heard and I'm disappointed with the decision, but we will move on.